And getting God a phone call saying you can come too. Don't wait like that. You want him to come? You got to put the devil out. That's why God don't answer some of y'all proud. There are too much other stuff going on. You have you are you are cohorts of the devil. You and the devil got a partnership. A relationship. And you talk about come on in if you don't stay long. Telling the Lord to come in if he don't stay long. He ain't staying long if he ain't showing up. Until the devil leaves. He looking for a house. Let me ask you. Do you have a vacancy? Do you got anything available? Because he looking. He looking for a house. Oh, he not looking for one to buy. But are he looking for one that he could rent? Or that he could stay a while? Well, you know that uh, my Lord Jesus, well, um, he gave a warning to his disciples and the people that were listening to his word. He said, you better be aware of the devil because the devil he really want to own you he want you to open the door and let him come in he want you uh, to know that I uh, Freedom is not your friend. Uh -huh, the devil, not someone that you want to hang out with. But uh, only God um, well, is able, yes, to do. What nobody else is able to do, only God. I want to tell you today that I made up my own mind. Yes, that I was going to make Jesus my choice. Yeah. Because I'm not the devil, child. I tell you, I'm God, child. I'm not the devil friend. Uh, I'm a friend of God. So today, as I leave you now, uh, I'd rather have Jesus uh, than to have the devil. Yes, Lord. The Lord told me to tell y'all. Uh, yeah, uh, you need to tell the devil that there's no room in the end. You need to tell the devil that the devil is real uh, and you already know it. I think I'll just preach in the home for a minute. And I, I want to tell you, uh, don't fool yourself that uh, there are yeah, the evil spirit in our neighborhood. Now, the evil spirit roaming our community. And that evil spirit in our homes and sometimes in our churches. The devil is real. Anybody know he's real? You know, we shout sometimes when somebody says God is real. But you need to know that the devil is real. He's real 
But the good thing about the devil being real, that God is also real. Ain't he real? I heard. You don't have to be afraid of the devil because the word of God said greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is stronger. He's stronger than the devil. If you got God, the devil can't stop you. If you got God, the devil can't harm you. I'm not afraid of him. When he come to my door, I'm not afraid to open the door. I just open the door and I tell the devil, you can't come in. I'm not afraid of you. I tell him in the name, in the name of Jesus. Get away from my house. Leave me alone. And you talking about can run. The devil sure can run. If you said Jesus, he can run. You thought Carl Lewis could run. You ought to see the devil run. He can run When you say in the name Of Jesus He'll run away from you Won't he do it Won't he do it But there's a good thing You know I told y'all About the bad news Now let me give you some good news Let me tell you The devil wants your house But there's somebody else Who wants your house also His name is Jesus Jesus, he want to move in with you. He want to walk with you and talk with you. When Jesus come by, you can tell the devil away with you. And good thing about him, he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I made up my mind that I want to have Jesus. I'd rather have the Lord. Ain't he all right? Do you have him? Have you met Jesus? Is Jesus in your life? Good is stronger than evil. Evil won't win. Evil can't win. Evil is not gonna win. It is not meant for evil to win. Good is stronger than evil. We'll win. We'll win this fight because we got God on our side. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Shake a neighbor hand and say, neighbor, we'll win. Say, we gonna win. Say, we win. Tell them we win. Look at them and tell them we win. Tell them we win. Tell them we win. Tell them don't be afraid of that old devil because we win. We win, we win. We'll come out a winner at the fin. We've already won. We've already won the battle. The battle is all. We'll win. That might, it might be the devil in that microphone. I don't know, but one thing I do know, I got God. Oh, oh. And he able tonight. Do you know he able? Say yes. Come on and say yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Have the devil ever bothered you? Have the devil ever been on your track? Have the devil ever came in your house? But you told God. You said, Father, oh, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm not afraid of the devil. Because I got Jesus in my life. Do you have Jesus? That's enough. Do you have Jesus? 
If you're not too cool to do it, shake your neighbor hand and say, I got Jesus in my life. Tell him I got Jesus. Tell him I'm not afraid uh, of the devil. Tell him again, say, I'm not afraid of the devil. Tell him I'm not afraid of the devil. Tell him I'm not afraid of the devil. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. I'm not afraid because Jesus defeated the devil one time. Yes, he did. When he was shown out in heaven, uh, Jesus kicked him out. He came down on earth and started showing out again. Jesus came down here and one Friday evening, one Sunday morning, uh, he defeated the devil one more time. And I'm here to tell y'all, in your life, God is able uh, to defeat every devil in your experience. Uh, yes, he will. Woo. Yes, he will. I've had problems, but I'm not worried about it. God Almighty here. Because he is able. He is able. Devil, don't bother me. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. But I tell you sometimes about the devil, don't bother me. Sometimes when he tries to sneak in, I said, I don't even try it. Don't you think about it. Uh, I tell him, don't you even think about that. I know what you're trying to do. 